And uh, when I step in the ring, the fans can look for that as well. They know that when Deontay step in the ring, it's going to be a great show. No matter what, what the outcome may be, it's going to be a great fight. You, you've talked about revenge and vengeance and that you're going to um, put the record straight on Saturday night. Are you promising us, promising us a KO against uh, Tyson Fury? That's, that's what you had to come and wait, witness. You know, uh, I, believe in, I believe in what we've been doing in camp. I believe in my team and the ability that I have. Like I said, Malik has brought the best out of me. Things, uh, things that, uh, that, I, that I haven't done, you know, because I haven't had to. But to bring it out and be able to do it on a consistent basis, I think it's going to be it's going to be beneficial for me. And uh, I'm just I'm, I'm looking forward to displaying my talent and my ability up inside the ring. You know, uh, everyone knows I have power, and my power never diminished from the first through the 12th. But uh, I want to show a little bit more. You know, uh, like I said, I want to beat him up, and I'm going to knock him out. Is it yep. all about working on, have you worked on getting into range then? Uh, we've been working on everything. You know, we haven't left no stones unturned. Deontay, so many great fighters have, have come back from defeats and adversity. Will this add to your kind of your legacy if, if you come back from the second fight and get this revenge? Most definitely, most definitely. It'll add to a, a lot of other things that I've done, you know, in my career um, that many many other people have done, you know. So uh, this is going to be a defining moment moment for me. Uh, this is one of the biggest fights uh, in my career, and um, I'm looking forward to the moment of it. To be my own story, it's going to motivate me. Say that again, Kendrick. How much are you worth being the underdog? I mean, I love. I mean, I think I love being the underdog. A lot of fighters love being the underdog because you know when you're an underdog, you have nothing to lose and everything to prove. You know, it's it's less pressure upon you. And um, I love I love being in this, this position. You know, God don't make mistakes. He allows certain things to happen for a reason. The Bible even tells you to lean not to your own understanding. And uh, that's what I have done. And um, it's been a great count for me, my team, around me. And um, again, I'm looking forward to October the 9th. Deontay, they say you won't take no L's. But do you think by taking the loss, we'll see with the being Deontay, the best version of me that we've ever seen before? Almost definitely. Deontay. Guaranteed, I guarantee you that. Deontay, Deontay, they say that a happy fighter is a dangerous fighter. On a scale from zero to a thousand, how dangerous are you right now? I'm a thousand and ten. <laughs> Deontay, this is Dante's Boxing Nation by way of Aki TV, man. It's been a while since you've been in there, and, and for all the dates being uh, being postponed, how do you keep yourself from getting overexcited? Because you really want to get at this guy. So how do you keep from getting overexcited early around? I mean, that I, 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 from getting overexcited, you know, that's you know deal with. Having the people that's around you, you know, having people that uh, that are able to to keep you calm within the storm, you know. And um, I always talk about my team, and I'll forever talk about my team and the and the four letter word that we have up in this team, and that's love. And um, that's what keep that what kept me throughout this whole time of waiting. And um, and you know, that my peace, my peace, my calm, you know, my light, you know, my happiness, my joy. Everything, you know, they say a family that prays together stays together, and uh, that's what we've done. Deontay, you mentioned, are you looking that? to be undisputed champion as well? Do you want the fight with Usyk afterwards? Most definitely. Um, I like what Usyk said. I heard that he said uh, he, he, he predicted that I would knock Fury out. He said he had no doubt that he would knock Joshua out, and after that, he want to get straight to it because he's older and he, he mean business. Uh, and I, I feel that he's an honorable man. And I think he would stick to his word because a lot of people get the belt and then they start acting funny with it. Uh, but uh, with with him, I think he's a warrior and he means his word. So I'm looking forward to that because the only way I could be able to retire is I achieve one champion, one face, one name. Damien Lillard picked you to win. Mike Tyson told me he expects you to do great. How did you get support for so many people? I mean, it's always good. I, I've always have, had support for, uh, for people all, all around the world, you know, and uh, it, has, it hasn't stopped. I'm always getting messages, uh, you know, people, you know, wishing me well, how much they love me and, you know, so many different things. And uh, that, you know, it means a lot to me. So when I tell my fans that I love them, I mean it because those that know me know I don't use those, those that terminology loosely, you know, uh, and, and I expect for the, the same way in the receiving. So, I appreciate everyone that wished me well, that's been praying for me. They say uh, uh, prayer changes things, and uh, I won't let them down come October the 9th. Deontay, 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 Deontay
feel all that love you got, turning the patience that you go use out there, that we're gonna get to see this from Deontay. Oh, most definitely. Love is patience. Love, love is kind. Is love yeah. is neat. And I'm going to whoop his behind. Is this it? If you, because how you felt about the last fight, if you knock him out this time, is there no fight number four as far as you're concerned? This is it. This is it. This closed the book of uh, me and Fury. This is this is it. Um, um, this, is, this is it. Is a victory this enough? Or do you, want to, do you want him to end his career in this fight? I mean, that's up to the man himself. You know, uh, I'm not here to... Uh, to uh, decide on another man's fate, whether he, he retire or not, and that have to be within the man, you know. We all know our body, we know what it's been through, we know our conditioning, and we know what position we, we hold in life. And, um, you know, I know I have my time when I want to leave, and, uh, and I got goals to, to accomplish before I do that, and I'm gonna fulfill that, and, uh, and then I'm out of here, you know. That's why I want everyone to appreciate Appreciate us while we're here because when I'm gone, I'm gone. You know, I'm not money driven and money is not going to define me. I have great uh, financial people behind me and uh, I don't have to strap up another glove in the day of my life right now because of my decision to make it, because of the way I choose to live my life. And um, and I'm proudly to say that. And uh, But uh, I got things I got to do. Do you want proper recognition from the American public when you get victory in this fight? Yeah, it feels from, like you haven't had it. You know, from him, this, this is what the defining moment is all about, you know. Um, I know that I will get it at the end of my career, or sadly to say when I die, you know. I'm gonna probably be 150 before I die. Um, but I want it right now. I don't want the same old uh, trend, trend uh, you know, it ain't enough trend setters. It's, it's too many trend followers. And, and the, the thing has been, people always appreciate great fighters in the end or when they die. And that needs to change, you know. Uh, you should appreciate them now, you know. It's no, in this sport, there's no such thing as being cocky or overconfident because it takes a lot to get in that ring, you know. A lot of people that says what this person won't do, this, he, this, and that, you won't get in that ring and you know you won't, you know. And so respect those that step their legs over that rope and they throw these hands. You gotta just respect the man for doing that, you know. And um, whether the, the, for their bad accomplishments, for their good accomplishments, and that demands uh, respect and uh, just just appreciation. That's all we look for is appreciation. Deontay, Deontay uh, Muhammad Ali uh, defended the heavyweight title uh, ten times on two separate occasions. You haven't matched that. Could you see yourself making another run? You know, matching what you did the, the you know your first championship run. Could you could you see that for yourself? Most definitely. I mean, I can see me going uh, even farther. You know, continuing, continuing on my ring um, as I was doing, and um, and uh, we'll see how far I go. Until then, love, peace, and God bless, and I'll see y'all on Saturday night. Thank you for stopping, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.